I'm Nick Bowie and today I'm playing The Doctor of No by Crows Crows Crows. Now Crows 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 is a developer that was founded by William Pugh and William Pugh made the Stanley Parable and Crows 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 first game was uh, Dr. Lankskov, the Tiger and the Terribly Cursed Emerald, a Whirlwind Heist. I loved that game, I'm very excited about the idea of more storytelling based games and this one's kind of like a text adventure. Uh, it's totally free but there are two warnings that come with this episode. One, there's gonna be some language in this game, there's gonna be some swears. So if you don't like that, maybe go watch one of our other videos. Maybe like the uh, Gamergate one or something. Number two! I'm gonna play the whole thing. I'm gonna go right to the end of this bad boy. So if you don't want to be spoiled, maybe go watch one of our other episodes. Like our nine hour until dawn playing through. Alright, let's jump in! Hello! This story may frighten and disturb you, but if you have a strong stomach, a smart brain box, and a cool face, then perhaps you're brave enough to hear it! Right. Clicking on different things gives me different things? I feel like brave enough's exciting. I'm brave like... A uh, storm, a bear or a sailor. Uh, how, how can a storm be brave? Enough of that, this isn't about you. Anyway, are you ready? Yes. Good. This is a story that took place a long time ago. It's a good one. Uh, it's a good one? Anyway, let's get this old dusty tome and hear of this fantastic tale. It's called... Like a storm. <laughs> Love it. The Brave Explorer, the Jungle of Doubt, and the Temple of No. Let's begin. They just love to mess you around with game titles. Okay, so this is a magical book. Its magic power is incredibly relatable. Are we a woman, a bloke, or a frog? Okay, I'm gonna level with you. You're playing the real game here. I had to write a whole load of bullshit about subverting the expectations of twine games for the man and woman options, and to be honest, I don't think those jokes were brilliant. This frog story is actually genuinely what this whole game is about. In fact, I'm gonna stop putting any actual effort into writing the other branches of dialogue and I'm gonna focus entirely on this one. Well done for picking the interesting option. I hope you like it. Let's go. Yes! The old frog that you know lived in Slimy Bottom, a small fishing village down the heart of Yorkshire. No longer part of the EU. It paddled a small boat around and ferried small animals to and fro uh, from each side of the pond and on Sundays it'd paddle down to the animal market and buy 12 fly cakes, one for each of its tadpole children. Is the only option I can pick. I want to know more about this animal market. But this Sunday was different. There was a strange taste in the air as it paddled down the stream. It knew in its cold-blooded, froggy heart that it missed the days of wild adventure. In its youth, it had traveled the world and explored new, non-froggy areas. Many of its discoveries had shaped the development of frog culture and frog history. But after enjoying the quiet life, Froggo knew it was time to step foot into the world of adventure one more. Why is its name Froggo? Okay, here's a crash course on our frog's old adventure history. That's it. The fro that you know lost an eye in a massive fucking fight with a baboon. It killed the baboon and it is one badass frog. Don't fuck with the frog. It once traveled to Antarctica and stole 22 penguin eggs. It is the master of stealth and it could sneak up on you and break your neck easily. Really easily. Frog legs over here jumped over an entire fence, like a human sized fence, to escape a frog prison compound set up by the UK government after Frog uncovered their evil plot to attempt to rig the frog elections. Then it went back to save all the other frogs, and you should be thanking its froggy eyes. Okay, you're ready. Let's go straight into the story. Ooh, black. New graphics options. Fucking jungle transition and audio. You're noticing this? Depression Quest didn't have this. Right. Right, let's go. Right into the story. The fro that you know entered the jungle of doubt on its journey to find... The map that sees all things that have ever been or will be, but in map form. The map was legendary. The old tales spoke about it. It sees all things that have ever been or will be, but in map form. But it has a battery. I like that. Anyway, so the fro that you know knew it proper wanted the map to tell it the secrets of the universe. If it brought the map to civilization, it would truly achieve greatness. It knew in its cold-blooded, slimy frog heart, the temple that held the map was close. The jungle of doubt, the swamp of suspicion, the tree of uncertainty, the skull of Steve. <laughs> the fro that you know looked up, down, all around, up, down, all around. We're looking all around. All around at the jungle surrounding it, it had to cut through the leaves and brush and flora and jungle debris in order to get to the temple that it was going to. I like how the game is constantly shouting at me. I appreciate that, as a shouter. As the fro that you know cut the leaves and the brush and the flora and the jungle debris, it thought about some shit. <laughs> Sang a little song, considered the possibility that life was futile. I think he th thinks about some shit. 
The fro that you know thought about how its feet were hurting it a bit. It wished it had bought some GOX shoes. The shoes that breathe, TM. Are we allowed to say that on the ABC? Are they real? Yeah, sure. They're real right now in my mind. The fro that you know thought about how its nose was itchy. If it had bought some GOX shoes, the shoes that breathe TM, it would likely have had such comfortable feet that it wouldn't be bothered by a meager nose itch. It continued to think, GOX, the shoes that breathe. The fro that you know wasn't there, it still had much more jungle to cut through. So, it thought about some shit, sang a little song, considered the possibility that life was futile. Tell me your song, little fro. Oh god, please sing it to me. Nope, it thought it would sing a little song. You, the player, must sing along to the background music with these lyrics. If you don't, you will know that you have let yourself down, and if you don't really fucking enjoy this game, it will be because you didn't put the effort in. These are the lyrics to this song that it sung. <laughs> I'm cutting the leaves, I'm pushing past the trees, I'm slashing away at these brush flora jungle debris. My name is the fro that you know, and I'm singing the song to take up the time while I travel along the path to the temple of No. This is where I must go. I'm cutting the leaves, I'm pushing past the trees, I'm slashing away at these blush flora and jungle debris. I said blush, I meant brush. I'm going out on an adventure today. This game is really, really fun to play. Twine games can be fun. I will shout, check me out, singing in the jungle of doubt. I'm cutting the leaves, I'm pushing past the trees, I'm slashing away at these brush flora and jungle debris. This straight accent's really coming out for some reason. Soon I'll be at the Temple of No, it's got lots of treasure and I'm going to go. Take some back to my hometown, that doesn't rhyme, keep it for myself, not share any around, I should've read ahead. I'm cutting the leaves, I'm pushing past the trees, I'm slashing away at this brush, flora and jungle debris. Jungle debris. I knew it, knew I finished! If you didn't sing the song, then you know you've let yourself down. You need to uh, let yourself have fun in life. Don't try to be so serious. If you didn't sing the song, please scroll back up and try again. If you did sing the song, well done! You are cool now. Fucking hell! The fro that you know thought, still a ways to go. It thought about some shit, sang a little song, considered the possibility that life was futile. Can I sing a song again? The fro that you know thought about futility for a while, then it remembered it wasn't any fun to think about, and so thought about doing itself a little dance. Yeah, do 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 frog dance. Finally, the fro that you know stopped imagining things. What a weird. It did it all. Thought about some shit. Sang a little song. Considered the possibility that life was futile. Yes, light. The fro that you know emerged from the jungle and saw. I'm having difficulty seeing the frog. Right. So that's his head. He's got a backpack. Legs. Is that a frog? Torso? Is he wearing a shirt or is he carrying like a small surfboard in front of him? We'll never know. The Temple of No! It doesn't actually look that no-y. Like it looks relatively welcoming. There's a there's a big opening in it, so that sort of says you're not coming. The Temple of No, the fro that you know marveled at its magnificence, probably built by the Aztecs, dude. Like, that is big. Anyway, we're not getting anywhere just sitting around giving exposition. Let's climb some stairs. Up, brilliant. Up, up, the stairs, we go, and then the temple. Right, so it's temple time, eh? Remember the explorer's oath. Look, do not touch. The fro that you know carefully walked down the dusty and or spooky corridor of the temple, being extra careful not to touch anything. It arrived in a large hall with three doors. Three, three doors. Three, three, that's one plus two, three doors. Right, it's selection time, everybody. Left, middle, or anti-left. Oh, dude, in this room there's a bunch of snakes having a pool party. Remember that game Snake? Remember how it had actual gameplay? Can't make snake in twine, can you? Haha, <laughs> no, but let's talk to the snakes. 
Hey, snakes. Yeah, they seem to be having a cool time. No treasure in here, though, unless you count a bunch of snakes as treasure, which I personally don't. Yep. So that was the spooky snake room. Sorry if you got scared back in here, I guess. Uh, let's go middle. So the further you know, enter the big old, uh, big room. Okay, wow, more stairs in here. Let's cl climb them. Climbing up. 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 Yes. Remember back at the start of this Twine game when you picked Sailor Storm Blah Blah? Yeah, those were good times. Wait, wait, no! A boulder! Run away, Froggy, run! There's danger, real present danger. Are you excited? Scream if you want to progress to the next section of the game. Ah! Just wanted to make sure Pete had taken his headphones off. Also, you probably should have. Good tip. All right, one last door to try. Boy, oh boy, the frog that you know is bad at this door choosing thing, am I right? Oh wow, it's the spike room. Remember Spike Milligan? No, <laughs> good. Oh, wow. Such a British reference. Uh, Webster's Dictionary defines spikes as a very large nail to a one of a row of pointed irons placed as on the top of a wall to prevent passage. B, one of the several metal projections set in the sole and heel of a show to impro... No, that doesn't apply here. Okay, so I don't think there's anything in this room. I guess we should turn around and go back, but I have no more doors. Oh, there's a secret little door. No doors lead to right path. Can no door truly bring us what we want in life? Perhaps the meaning of this tale, that you can go through a jungle, sing a song, climb some borrowed stairs, check a bunch of rooms, and you'll still never find what you're looking for. Well, it makes you think, hey? It makes you think. The end. <laughs> oh, no, wait, there's another door over on the right. Let's do it. <laughs> Brilliant. And this one says throne room entrance on top of it. The fro that you know entered the door and found the great leader's chamber. Again, I, I don't know if that's a frog. Is this how frogs look? I think I haven't seen a frog in a while. That's the problem. Anyway. The great leader's chamber on the seat was the frog. great leader. His voice echoed through uh, the room frog. if you've got right. audio on. So, um, hello. Um, nice to meet you. Nice, uh, hello. Uh, sorry, one sec. Let me just... Uh. Uh. Right. Um, um, okay, uh, so, yeah, nice, no, no, hello, right, hello, my name is, my name's fucking Keith, right, and I am, uh, well, uh, I'm the guy in the throne, I'm the, I'm the, I'm the bloody, bloody Aztec god, I suppose, um, funny, funny story, you look like you kind of come from, Civilized society, I think. Um, but yeah, so I, um, funnily enough, used to be a shoe salesman, you know, I sold, um, That's why he's shoes. you know, shoes. I, I sized people's shoes down, um, you know, down, down, down Halifax Market, you know, for, you know, sorting people's feet out, you know, measuring them, tell you what size you are, you know, put your, put your feet on the little thing, and, um, and so, you know, one day I was, you know, back in. Back in the store. I don't know if the game is trolling me to listen to all of this um, or to continue. I, found, I, 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 I went past kind of size six uh, before before I got to size seven, and then you know, God, ne next thing, next thing I bloody well. Well, um, <laughs> well, no, okay, um, sorry, I am really sorry, but um, that you can't have the map. That's right there. Okay, um. So, sorry, there's been a bit Kill of him. a uh, miscommunication. <laughs> there's been a bit of miscommunication. <clears throat> but little did it know, in killing the great leader TM, it would become the great leader TM and violate the explorer's oath. Oh no, look, we don't touch. Technically, I didn't touch. Technically, the knife touched. How could the fro that you know have forgot the explorer's oath? It was Trey Importaint. French. Now, as its great leader loyalists approached it, ready to worship it as their new god, Frog had decided right there it would now break vows and totally just be a cool ruler in the jungle, or grab the map and escape to Civilization V. <laughs> um, let's go with some drama. That's what it did. That's what the fro that you know did. Or should I say... That's what I did. <laughs> <laughs> That's right, fools. I'm old, the fro that you know, and that shit happened to me. 
I don't know what lessons I've learned or if I've learned any lessons at all, but I got the map. I got it. And it's given me many pieces of insight. And because you've heard my tale and listened to my words of wisdom, I'll tell you one piece right now. The wisdom is, have you ever played a good game made in twine? Like one that's actually good, not just, quote, good for a twine game. <laughs> the end! The end of the game! Oh my god! Ambient Sounds by Free Sound and Sound Snap. The Dancing Frog Song is Gold Rush by Kevin McLeod. Boulder Scene Audio from Raiders of the Lost Ark. Oh. I feel so good. Okay, so that was The Temple of No. Loved it. Loved it all. Loved the song. Loved it all. Uh, I am so happy that Crows, Crows, Crows exists as a developer because these weird little experiments in, in game and storytelling, particularly in storytelling, uh, are, are just so important, I think. You look at Stanley Parable, you look at Dr. Langskov, you look at, uh, at this. William Pugh loves just messing with you and trying to tell stories in different ways. And I just think it's it's so clever and effective. It's 20 minutes of your time. Uh, I'm guessing that some slightly different stuff happens if you decide to be the leader, but I don't know if it's much more of the game if you end up staying in the jungle. Uh, I imagine there's probably not that much more. So you can go through it twice and, and, uh, and pick that second option. But wow, just so much fun and so sweet and self-aware and uh, you know, no one, oh, I was about to say no one died, but someone died. The, the grand leader died, so so that's, you know, it's not completely non-violent, but we're getting there, guys. We're getting there. All right, that's it for today's episode of Pocket My Pocketeers. Nick Bayer, mwah! Cutting through the bush and the jungle debris. The fro that you know, I can't remember the lyrics. Pete, stop giving me that look off camera. The fro that you know, I'm cutting the camera.